Big money news for Gwinnett County. The county's impressive AAA bond rating could mean big savings for you, the taxpayer. Changes coming to State Route 316. GDOT designing a new interchange at Williams Farm Drive to keep traffic moving smoothly. We'll tell you what's planned and how it'll impact your commute. Summer safety starts here, folks. Northside Hospital Gwinnett is once again backing lifeguard training, helping Gwinnett keep its pool safe. We'll tell you how this life-saving program makes a huge difference. Those stories and more in this edition of Iron Gwinnett. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Deborah Tuff. Always good to see you. At the top of the show, Gwinnett County continues to shine bright like a diamond with top financial ratings. For more than two decades, the county has secured a triple A bond rating from Moody's, French, and S&P, marking it as one of the most fiscally resilient in the country. This elite rating means lower borrowing costs, saving money for taxpayers. Only 53 counties, count it, 53 counties nationwide hold this honor, putting Gwinnett in the top 2%. That's huge. Also huge, big updates on our roads. GDOT is designing a new interchange at State Route 316 and Williams Farm Drive to help improve traffic flow. The project includes roundabouts at each ramp with Gwinnett Transportation covering future lighting costs, keeping these roads safe and well -worked. And two new illuminated gateway monuments are coming to Gwinnett. This is so dope, I'm so excited. Right Light Signs Inc. won the bid to build these landmarks, one at Jimmy Carter Boulevard near I-85 and the other at Centerville Highway and River Lake Way. To keep those new gateway monuments shining, Gwinnett has a maintenance agreement with GDOT. This deal covers everything from landscaping to future upkeep. And switching gears a bit, Northside Hospital Gwinnett stepping up again to support our park and rec community pools. For the second year in a row, they're donating to Gwinnett Park's lifeguard training program, one of the largest in Georgia. Thanks to their help, over 300 lifeguards are trained each year free of charge if they choose to work at a Gwinnett facility. With more than 500,000 people enjoying the pools every single year, yes, I said 500,000. These well-prepared guards play a crucial role in safety, often acting quickly in emergencies, sometimes saving lives. Are you social? We sure are. Follow us at GwinnettGov on Facebook, X, and Instagram for more county news. You can also catch our programming anytime, anywhere on TVGwinnett.com or by downloading TV Gwinnett or Amazon Fire or Roku. And just so you know, District 1 Commissioner Kirkland Cardin recently attended the annual Korean Festival at Sugarloaf Mills. The event serves to preserve, share, strengthen, and maintain the Korean culture, not just in Gwinnett, but across the country. Random thoughts, intrusive thoughts, and I'm going to say it. Get your flu shot, folks. Until then, I'm Deb Tuff. Mm. See you next time.